Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually interact with the buttons. Because in the previous video, I have shown you how you can interact with the inputs. And now it's time to work with buttons. So, let's imagine we are still on this website and you basically fill the mic name. And let's say you want to click on this I have tried test cafe checkbox. So how to do it? Let's inspect the element. And you see it's input of type checkbox, name try test cafe, ID try test cafe. So let's grab the ID. And well, we have typed the value. Then we can wait for five seconds, but I think that's too high. Let's wait just for two. And then let's do page dot click. And now we need to pass the name of the selector where you want to click. In our case is try test cafe checkbox. And also there are some optional arguments which you can use. So you can basically use click count and the default number is one, but you can, for example, type five. And what it does is it will click five times in a row on this selector. But that's not what you want to do. We want to actually type only once. So let's click one. And let's see if we now do the wait. Let's give it here. And you know, let's remove it from here. We don't need it. And we don't need it here as well, but I just want to leave it to show you that the click was successful because right now we are exploring the basics of your automation and we are not working with assertions and expects. So we need to a little bit improvise here. So the area and the flow is simple. We will type into the input and then we click on that checkbox and we will click only once. So let's see if the test is successful. And as you can see, we are successful. The checkbox has been selected. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, uh, there is an option to do the right click, but it's not that used in test. So if you want, you can Google it out, but I think the important part is to know how you can use the single click. And remember, whenever you want to click on something, you call await page that click. First argument is the selector and second is optional and it will click count. If you don't specify the click count, it will be defaulted to one. So that's it. And in the next video, we will actually finish with the fitted form and we will fill one more uh, select box and also we will submit the form so you will see uh, the test from end to end. So see you there.